Hey everybody, it's Dr. Kelly with your Learn It Moment. In this moment, we're gonna be talking about the differences between integrity and discipline. Now, why would you even wanna examine those two words? Because without them, it's really tough to be successful in anything in your life, but with them, you kinda of hold the power, the power to the universe. Um, so let's get into the nitty gritty. What's the difference between discipline and integrity? Hey everybody, it's Dr. Kelly. I used to be a teacher in the toughest classrooms in the worst neighborhoods with the most difficult students. And what I learned there changed everything I thought I knew about content creation and delivery. Over the past 25 years, I've taught thousands of students, both in person and online. And what I can tell you is that effective online engagement is the hardest thing you'll ever do without guidance. So I've dedicated this channel to showing people exactly how to capture attention, hold engagement, and create transformation every single part of it. I love learning, I love teaching and making an impact, and that's all you're gonna find right here. For me, and this is my hypothesis, my current working hypothesis, for those of you that know me, you'll know that I am incredibly committed to weekly held beliefs. So, there's more to that story, but you'll have to delve deeper to get that. Let's look at these two things, because I think it's really important moving forward for you to be able to distinguish why you'd want to know What's the difference between these two? The definition that I'm working with right now are both def, uh, the definition that I'm working with right now is the same for both words. It's doing the thing you said you were gonna do long after the moment you set it in has left you. So what does that mean exactly? Well, let's look at discipline first. Discipline, it's that moment. It's really time-based. So you set your calendar and when, whether it's daily, whether it's hourly, whether it's weekly or monthly or quarterly, whatever it ends up being, when that time ticks up in the calendar, you stop what you're doing and you do that thing. This could be setting your monthly budget. This could be a 5 a.m. workout. This could be 10 p.m. prayer time. It doesn't matter. It's discipline because when that time comes up, you are either doing or not doing that's discipline, doing or not doing. Discipline is very behavior based. So let's say you're Friday night, you're out and you're hammered every single Friday night. Discipline would be saying, well, that habit is no longer working for me. I wanna substitute that habit for a new habit. So instead of Friday nights, you go out and get hammered, you're doing yoga, okay? It's a discipline based activity. Very, very straightforward. It's Here's the time comes up, this is typically what I do, this is what I'm gonna do. And from that point forward, now we have discipline. Now let's look at integrity. Integrity by definition, a lot of people say, oh, it's a strict moral code, or it's an ethical code, it's very wholesome. I challenge that because I think there's more to it. I think you can have discipline and not have any integrity, but you can't have integrity without discipline because throughout your life, you will say things to yourself, you will pretend or think that you are a certain way, and when situations arise, you will, your integrity will be tested. So if I could give you a future, a, a way that you would want to create a new you, it's going to be first establish your ability to do disciplined actions while you are working on your own personal integrity. Personal integrity is now doing those things that you said you were gonna do long after the mood has left you. Could be months, weeks, years. It's, I'm a good person. I don't cheat. I don't lie. Creating your identity for yourself. And then, I work out regularly. I eat well and then seeing how those actions actually manifest and the discipline that requires to actually build personal integrity. I challenge everyone to go out and start examining your own discipline in your life as well as your own personal integrity because personal integrity, doing those things, standing up for the things that you think are important in your life or taking a stance for those things that's how we actually create change. Creating change through education is what Learn It is all about. I strongly recommend 
this self-examination process start and you can look at it from the really simple what did I do today that was discipline oriented what did I do today that I said I was gonna do today or what are all the things that I said I was gonna do or didn't do versus who am I and how do those actions create a better me how can I look in the mirror and say I love that guy I love that gal they do the things they say they're gonna do. They have integrity in their word, integrity in their character. Developing the ability to examine who you are as a person cannot be more important than it is right now. Wishing you a great day. Go out there, take a look at yourself, get dirty, get your hands in there and find out what's actually going on. I'm Dr. Kelly, I'll see you in the next Learn It Moment.